Hello again and welcome to another episode of Rain Plays. Today we are on the island and we're at Dock Den. I moved the two bros out, gave them to the pancakes, like I always do, <laughs> and we're back. These are the Randall brothers. Johan is an adult. Edwin is his young adult brother. Uh, Johan is good, a foodie, and he loves the outdoors. He got the gregarious. I did the um, story thing with him. But when I created Edwin, they only give you the choice to do the story once. I, I don't get it. But anyway, I had to make him. He's ambitious, active, which means he has a high metabolism. He's also outgoing. Uh, Johan ended up getting the food critic job. I didn't give it to him. They gave it to him. So Edwin is a budding athlete. Uh, might as well tell you ahead of time here. My before walkthrough got corrupted. I don't know what I did. I plunked it down and I started editing it. And when I went back to review it, it came up um, yellow warning sign, the triangle thing with the red exclamation point. But only for that walkthrough video, I don't know what happened. I just, all I did, I, I'm trying to um, cut out all of my jittery dumbness. And apparently I can't do that very well with my editing software. So I'm going to have to look into that. I don't really know what happened because that was a first. Because I've edited obviously before. Well, should I say obviously? Probably not because it doesn't look like it, I'm sure. Um, so that occurred, which is pro one of the reasons why this video is so short. And the second thing I might as well tell you is what you're looking at here does not end up being the result. I don't know if you'll notice it or not, but... I ended up bulldozing their house and then I started creating it all over again. So I had to catch myself there and say, no, this is not what you want. Although I have to admit, I was kind, I wasn't unimpressed with this house. I just didn't like the layout. Um, I thought it had some nice features to it, but it was so cramped and so dark. I, I just don't care for that. And they have like I mentioned before, I know I have, out of this entire world here, Windenburg, this is my favorite place. I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. It's just so pretty. It's surrounded by water. And by the way, um, I was calling it the island because that's what it looked like to me. I had no idea. It's called the island. And there are one, two, three, four, four houses on the island and then an empty lot. And some very wealthy family lives here. I don't think it's the Bergsons though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I can't remember their name. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm so sorry. Uh, doesn't matter though, I'm not there yet. Um, what did I have to tell you? Well, um... In one of my previous videos, I had discussed the butler aspect of the Glamour stuff pack, and it got cut out. Uh, I go through at least three audio renditions before I get one that works. And I've been listening to my, you know, uploaded videos, and I, I don't... I don't hear that story anywhere, so I might as well tell you that here. Um, I got the Glamour stuff pack because of the butler aspect. I thought that was so cool. And I wanted Mr. French to come into my house, move in, and take care of my Sims. And for those of you who don't know who Mr. French is... Uh, when I was a little girl, there was a show called Family Affair, and it had two little twins and an older sister. Their parents died, and the uncle, the bachelor uncle, had to take care of them. 
And he had a butler called Mr. French. His name is real name is Sebastian Cabot. And I just loved the guy. Even though I was a tiny little girl. And I uh, used to come on Nickelodeon. Is that what it, Nickelodeon? Nick at night? I don't remember. What, it doesn't matter. Um, that's what I wanted from this pack. But when I played it, I built a house. I gave him his own room. He had a computer and a desk and a TV and a radio and his own bathroom. And I fancied it up with all the glamour stuff. And then it said to hire a butler, and I did. And do you know that they sent me a teenage girl? A teenage girl. I ain't having no teenage girl living with a single young adult male. Well, I think it was an adult. Doesn't matter. So I fired her. I waited an entire sim day. I tried it again, and that little girl came back to the door. A young teenage girl was supposed to be my butler, and I'm like, that's not Mr. French. I want Mr. French. I was so disappointed. No matter what I did, I did not get the butler I wanted. And I sure as heck didn't want no young little girl running around the place. And when I, you know, I gave up, <clears throat> excuse me, I still wanted to try, you know, what what is this butler thing all about? So I let her come into the house for a day or two. And she didn't, oh my goodness, she didn't do anything. She just stood in one spot and waited for someone to tell her what to do. So you had to ask her to clean up the table. You had to ask her to take out the garbage. You had to ask her to clean like if a sink was dirty or something. Otherwise, she just stood in the middle of the room with her arms at her sides, just gazing off into the distant unknown. Very disappointing. So what I en ended up doing was um, creating my own Mr. French, I got a picture of Sebastian Cabot online and I tried as best I could in cast to recreate him. And then I plunked him down in that household, in that room. And all he wanted to do was socialize. You know, he was like part of the family. So he wasn't really butler material. I want honest to goodness butler material, you know, the British kind. Yes, sir. And, uh, all the fancy talk and the, the stuffy attitude and the stone face. <laughs> yeah, I know all that all outmoded stuff. I don't care. That's what I wanted and that's what I expected when I got that pack. And I was sadly disappointed. So that's my story about that. I recently upvo uh, uploaded <laughs> the round three voting for this new stuff pack, uh, the DIY thing. I have that uploaded. It's only a two minute video. Um, I was kind of disappointed in what I saw because I don't know why they do it to us. They make a big deal out of, oh, hey, look, we made new stuff. And this time you get to tell us what you like. And then you look at it and it's like, but we already have these stupid looking stretch knit pants with the elastic ankles we already have this shirt we already have these sweaters we already have the shoes were a joke uh i don't know anyone i even mentioned it in the video i've never seen anybody in my life wear jeans where the cuffs are practically halfway up the calf and yet they keep making those things ripped jeans who wears ripped jeans anymore wasn't that an 80s thing or an early 90s thing i don't believe it ever came back and yet they keep cramming it down our throats nothing that i wanted as usual was offered to me and hats i'm sorry i rarely if ever give any of my sims a hat I wouldn't mind wearing one in real life. I just look really stupid in them. I have tried and tried and tried, and I, it must be the shape of my head or something, but I look ridiculous in hats, so I'm just not a fan of them. I, I just, it's just not something I think about when it comes to wardrobe. And I know I shouldn't use real life when playing a game. I know that, I, again, that's something I still need to work on, but even when I put one on a sim, it's like, you look stupid. <laughs> Oh, it's
it's annoying. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the um a couple videos back. Gosh, it's it's been a while, I guess. Remember, I was saying that um my Sims would not take a shower when I asked them to. Well, they would, but they wouldn't come clean. That was an actual glitch. It wasn't just me. It was the game, but they fixed it in the latest patch. And now, when you do, when I at least ask them to take a shower and they do it, they come clean. So that's a good thing. The one thing that they're ignoring, and I don't know why, is the bouncy bounce you get when you're trying to lay down um, dirt or something uh, near the um, foundation of a house. You try to go up to the edge of the foundation and, and the circle or square, it just bounces right back at you. That is so annoying. I don't know why they won't fix that. But. Well, that's everything I had written down. <laughs> so I guess I'm done talking, eh? I liked this build. I had fun with this. I think the guys like it. I've played them like maybe three or four sim days. Getting them in their jobs and stuff like that. I probably, the flowers are probably overkill for these guys. But I had to put something back there. It's at the edge of the lot. These are very tiny lots. It, it looks like a 15 by 20, but they're actually 30 by 20s. And it's still not too much. But these guys have a magnificent view. Anyway, we're coming up on the end here. Sorry for the glitchiness there. I thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.